You know, in, in, in physics, we talk about how in, in Newton's laws of physics, to every action, there's an equal but opposite reaction, right? And that's in physics, right? There's action and reaction. Yeah. Well, sometimes we take an action and there's a spiritual reaction. So we take an action in this life, in this world, but the reaction is in the unseen. The reaction is in the world that we cannot see. The reaction is in ways we cannot gauge by physics or chemistry or biology. And those reactions, Allah teaches us about some of them in the Quran. And this action, someone who wants to ignore on purpose, there are a couple of reactions. And there are actually three reactions, not one. There are three reactions to this one action, which means this is a pretty serious action. <laughs> it gets three reactions. Now let me tell you, how do you remember these three? One of those reactions is in this life. One of those reactions is on Judgment Day. And another reaction is after Judgment Day in the Akhirah, after that. So there's three reactions Allah talks about in Surah Taha. This life, there's a reaction. Qiyamah, there's a reaction. Resurrection Day, there's a reaction. And then in the afterlife, after that, there's also a reaction. So it's pretty serious stuff. Now, the, the, he, in, in, not in that order, he mentions the first reaction he mentions is Yomul Qiyamah, the Day of Resurrection. Why? Because the day of resurrection is a day when we are held responsible for everything we did. And mentioning that is absolutely essential in the 99th and 100th ayah. Allah says, وَقَدْ آتَيْنَاكَ مِنْ لَدُنَّا ذِكْرًا We have given you from ourselves, especially from our treasures, we have granted you a way to remember. Dhikra. Now this dhikr is the Qur'an. And then Allah says, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْهُ And whoever ignores it on purpose, whoever deliberately, intentionally ignores it, what does he say about them? فَإِنَّهُ يَحْمِلُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وزرا. Then this person is going to be the one that will be carrying a huge burden on the day of resurrection. They will have a burden on them on resurrection day. Look at the power of this speech. This is a person that said, I don't want the burden now. That's what they said. And Allah says, this person did not want to carry this burden now, so I will make them carry a huge burden on the day of resurrection. Now you decide, would you rather carry a burden now, or would you rather carry a burden in the next life? That's the decision you have to make. And what's incredible is in, when Allah talks about the carrying of, of, of wahi, when we carry the, the burden of obeying Allah, learning Allah's word, learning about the Prophet ﷺ, when we carry that, it doesn't actually become a burden on us. He says, اللَّهُ لِيُخَفِّفَ عَنْكُمْ by, by putting that burden on you, Allah actually makes your life easier. He, puts the, he reduces the load from you. It's the opposite effect. It doesn't work like this world. It's the opposite effect. The more we carry Allah's word, the lighter light becomes. Life becomes. Life becomes not heavier, but lighter. It's the opposite effect.